we are talking about Shall We Play? This one is directed by Anne Forey, who also co-wrote this movie and stars a name I'm probably going to butcher here, uh, Matria Schwarina. And uh, she is kind of the main character, Stacy, And she has downloaded this app, which is essentially a uh, Ouija board, for lack of a better word. And she keeps getting visions, nightmares of two young girls in uh, kind of spooky situations. We also have a storyline where her kind of like this new boyfriend seems all hunky-dory, but uh, ultimately he kind of sexually assaults her and sort of sends naked photos of her around the internet. She's got a bitchy friend. She's having problems with her parents. There's a whole kind of lot going on here. Uh, what will happen, you'll have to watch the movie to find out. So first of all, let's talk about what work in this movie. So a modern horror, uh, obviously dealing with kind of modern social media, which I think is obviously makes it quite kind of a current movie, mixing in the um, you know, the concept of old school magic, like Ouija boards, put, putting them into an app. It's not entirely original. We have seen things like this before, but it's a good idea. I think it's a way to modernize kind of, um, you know, horror tropes, so to speak. And I think the um, th there are some subjects here that are brought up that are quite powerful. Uh, the, the power of kind of social media, for example, uh, date rape, things like this, um, you know, mental health. So it does have a few good ideas here. I think the character of Stacy. There are some scenes here where I think the actress does a does a fine job, and, and uh, particularly in the kind of I would say the more of the the less horror scenes. Let me put it like that. More of the kind of the social scenes of her friends and parents and things like that. I think the actress does a good job. The character does come across as somewhat likable. I have to say, but at least I, I would say somewhat realistic at the kind of the same uh, on the same way. Um, the movie does have a little bit of a creep factor, I would say. I don't think it's, it's, this feels less of a kind of an out and out horror, more of a kind of a horror thriller in a lot of ways. It's not really gory or no real jump scares, very kind of light ones at the very least. But nonetheless, there are a couple of, uh, for obviously, which is obviously a very low budget, a couple of kind of uh, creepy moments kind of here and there. What doesn't work for me, I think this movie feels very unfocused. Uh, there is, seems to be a, a hell of a lot of things uh, that are kind of added to this movie that don't really seem to have a lot of payoff or it feels like the movie has, has kind of one too many pokers in the fire uh, and, and never really feels completely satisfying in regards to um, all of the kind of these story threads, you know, the, the mental health, the kind of relationship with her parents, the relationship with her friends. This, the whole, the fact that this, this, um, this guy sent naked pictures of her around the internet and things like that. I mean, for example, we don't really know why he's done that. He just does it. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's not a lot that is scratched beneath the surface here. So I feel there's a lot of ideas that are introduced. Uh, you know, these th are two friends. We've got one which seemingly is a little backstabby, but we've just got to accept that's kind of the way it is. Um... The, the actual, let me come up with the supernatural stuff, which again seems underdeveloped. So I think there's a lot of ideas here that, that are introduced that I think would make a compelling story, but there's little done with it. Uh, and I think in the, um, maybe in the hands of a more established screenwriter, I think maybe some of these things could be a little more focused. Maybe you can have admitted that maybe it doesn't need quite as many, uh, you know, different elements of the movie. I've got to say, so I think some of the acting here is is a little, well, let's call it mixed. Even with our main character, I think there are scenes where she does very well. But there are also scenes where I feel that the it's massively overacted, particularly in the quote-unquote horror scenes. It's kind of a little bit cringy at times, but she's not the only one. I think some of the supporting cast as well don't do a brilliant job. I feel that the movie doesn't really go anywhere. Um, and it kind of links into what I was saying about it being somewhat kind of unfocused. This movie just feels particularly kind of unsatisfying. I think the kind of the, the horror elements uh, are, are really ill-explained. I mean, how a, uh, you know, a, a Ouija board, for example, and the kind of that kind of stuff gets integrated into modern technology with apps, never really mentioned. You know, it's just, it just has. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, how is this, who is responsible for programming? I mean, it doesn't just magically happen. 
Uh, so it kind of like, I don't know, it, it just feels like there's, oh, this will be a good idea, this will be a good idea, but there's little thought put behind it, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't make for a particularly compelling movie, although I wouldn't say it's necessarily a bad film in any stretch. It's just ultimately not particularly interesting. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.